Hello YouTube, this is Ryan from the Reptile Guys. I'm pretty much the leader and I uh, present to you today episode 4 of uh, Reptile Care Videos. This uh, video will be oriented about my southern tiger whiptail lizard. And uh, But before we get started I want to give a little shout out to someone who's subscribed and liked all of our comments, uh, Connor Miller. He has a horned lizard, and his channel is pretty cool, so I recommend go check him out. And uh, other than that, uh, yeah, that's that's all I got for updates. So let's get into the video. Let's go. Okay, so this is my adult female tiger whiptail lizard princess. She's drinking her water right now. Uh, she's being a good lizard, but uh, let's let's get into why she's a good lizard, I guess. So, I haven't uh, filmed her very much, so I I'd like to tell you a little bit about her. So, first of all, tiger whiptail lizards are diurnal lizards. They live uh, mainly in Southern California. Uh, they have a non-prehensile tails, and they're extremely fast runners. Especially um, noted when they run, they actually run on their hind legs, and they catch up to 10 to 15 miles per hour on record. Uh, these lizards have a, um, she's about to shed, so uh, bear with her terrible uh, coloration right now, but they have a uh, black and white, then a rust, uh, or black and white uh, abdomen, then a rust going down to their torso. And uh, mainly they reach uh, just over a foot long at adult size. She might have about an inch more to grow. She, uh, I'd, I'd say she's probably like uh, three, two, three years old. And I uh, caught her here in Southern California uh, with a permit I got to catch her in Joshua Tree National Park. And uh, there's the horny toad right there checking base. So uh, as far as her setup, I, I, I give her lots of substrate because these are burrowing lizards at nighttime. Like I said, they're diurnal, so they do sleep in the night. Uh, so she has a mixture of pebbles and uh, bark chips to uh, give her a uh, nice opportunity to um, dig. And other than uh, that, she has a nice running space right here. These lizards are um, uh, semi-arboreal, which means they do climb somewhat. Uh, so she has a nice climb right there to bask on her basking light. And then her UVB, which I just replaced. Uh, which gives her all the natural vitamins from the sun. And uh, sh diet, these lizards are insectivores, so I like the alligator lizard. I give them a variety of insects, such as dubia roaches, super worms, and uh, western banded crickets. Now, uh, those three, um, all given calcium and uh, vitamin powder, uh, I believe in one of Joel's videos he um, recommends this... Uh, this repti calcium, which you can put on your uh, insects, uh, which is very nutritious for them. Uh, they are uh, pretty active during the day. Uh, I'd, I'd say um, in the morning she kind of unburies herself, and in the evening she reburies herself. Uh, um, oh, back to eating, sorry. They eat, uh, I'd feed them every other day, just like an alligator lizard, a couple insects. Uh, depending on their size, would be the size of the insect you feed them. Uh, but other than that, they're they're pretty low maintenance lizards. They don't uh, really uh, go to the bathroom a ton. Um, uh, you, uh, this is a 10 gallon enclosure, so uh, it's probably the minimum size I'd recommend. So definitely, this is a one lizard size tank. Definitely, um, two might be pushing your limit but they should be healthy in this uh, environment. And then make sure you have a heat light and a UVB light. And uh, other than that, you should be good. Uh, so I'll just give you a little tour of around it. By the way, this hide, they can kind of climb back up into behind it and in there. And that's about it. And I'd like to also mention I did replace the UVB on the uh, southern alligator lizard. So she's got her thing back and I did just get this plant in there too this is the plant is more just for decor but it's not extremely necessary uh, but yeah uh, the water dish make sure it's filled uh, daily so they have plenty of water because they do get thirsty and uh, 
yeah. Say bye, little princess. I'm gonna get back to my mirror. All right. So thanks for watching, guys. Uh, this should be the last care video of my animals, at least, because I showed you the alligator lizard, the horned lizard, the whiptail lizard, and the king snake. But stay tuned because I think uh, Joel might be posting a uh, care video on his collie lizards, and either him or Corey should be posting a care video on ball pythons. Uh, so other than that, make sure to like, sub, and share. It'll really help out our channel. And uh, thanks for watching. Peace.